Hey, are you trying to stream and does it look like absolute sh**? Like this? Well, then don't stream. Thanks for watching. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to show you how to make your stream work best for you. So before I show you this, please leave a like and a sub down below if this helped you out at all. And watch till the end to see the giveaway I'm doing also. So go to Streamlabs settings and go to the video section. Here set the base resolution to the native monitor resolution. So I'm using a 1080p monitor, so I'm just going to leave it 1080p. And then just for testing, or if you want to just lower it to 720p, really good option for just getting into streaming. Output to 720p works great. And by doing this, it decreases the bandwidth needed to stream and making it perform better. If you don't know about your bandwidth, go to speedtest.net and just click the going button and check to see how good or crappy your internet is. It's going to be linked down below for you guys so you guys can just click on it and just hit go. This website gives you a good idea of what your up and download speeds are as well as how crappy your latency is. Even if it's crap, don't worry, I'll help you adjust your stream settings to make it run better on a crappy connection. But if you have 6 megabytes per second or higher of upload speed, then you should be able to output the stream to 1080p. If not, just keep below that 1080p mark, around 720p works great. Now jumping back over to Streamlabs, change the download factor to either uh, by cubic, or if your connection is absolute crap and you want it to perform the best, change it to bilinear for the best chances of it working good. Then next go to the advanced tab on the left. Then change the process priority to above normal. Then in the output tab, change the output mode to advance. Then looking over at the encoder, if you have a powerful NVIDIA graphics card, set it to NVENC. Otherwise, change it to software X264 so we can use your CPU rather than your graphics card to render and process a stream. And then, almost done here, Change your rate control to CBR, which stands for controlled bitrate. Now you can change this number here to change the bitrate to whatever your connection can handle. For example, if you have 5 megabytes per second or more upload, set it to 3500 or 4000. If you got less than that, drop that number down between probably 2500 or 2000 if it's still struggling. Underneath that, set the profile to main. And now you can finally close settings. So other things you can do besides making sure you have all the right settings for to stream is to make sure you ha you're using an ethernet cable for the fastest possible speed for upload and download because Wi-Fi is not that very fast. Then also cleaning your PC and speeding up for free also helps if you would like more on that and making your computer run faster. I got a video right here on how to do that. So the giveaway we're doing this month is for five Steam game keys. Not going to spoil what games they are, but definitely are some good ones. So to enter, make sure you're subscribed, you like this video, and comment down below with something positive. And that's all. You're going to be entered instantly, and you'll be entered. And if you win, it's going to be announced on my Twitter page, which is linked down below also, and responded to in the comments if you win. So of course, have a good one, and hopefully see you guys in the next one.